The idea of natural flood management is not an entirely new one. So we always have worked with the natural landscape, with natural process in order to slow down the water that is coming down our hills. The Two Valleys project um, is a catchment scale project. So we're actually looking at the whole catchment of the Monk River stream and the Donnyford stream. And we're looking at all the opportunities that we can possibly find within this catchment to implement natural flood management interventions. So local people, local farmers, community members will know best where the area has flooded in the past. So we're gathering their local knowledge before we go out and we decide where we want to put wetland areas, where we want to plant up woodland. Um, so we really want to make sure that everything we do is in close communication with members of the public. So we're in an area of West Somerset where there's a lot of sloping land uh, and obviously because of that there's a lot of um, river streams, uh, water runoff from fields and that obviously go, feeds into the Monk Silver stream and potentially can cause problems further downstream. In the past we have had flooding issues in the village, um, particularly caused by the local stream overflowing its banks and cascading down the main street so that it's flooded properties. Um, that's led us on a couple of occasions to go out in the night with a group of volunteers to sandbag the front doors of local houses to stop properties getting flooded. The wetlands that we built as part of this project do not only um, store flood water, we also have wider benefits that wetlands can bring to the local area. So every wetland um, we build will actually allow some of the water to be cleaned before it comes back into the stream. Many birds um, will really enjoy this area here, many dragonflies will see this as a new home. We can combine the flood benefit with the actual habitat creation benefit. We are very thankful for the farmers that have actually worked with us and provided land so we could implement these natural flood management interventions. We've been approached by the landowner where we do the monitoring, um, asking if his grandchildren could come out with us sometime, just because they're interested in nature and would like to see what we're doing. And I imagine there's other families like that who might like to go on a family day looking at what is in, what's living in the local streams. So after meeting Karina at the council meeting, uh, we had a site visit and uh, Karina came up with quite a few ideas. Um, one that we'd obviously thought of, putting the pond in our bottom field, and the other was planting trees. Uh, so now obviously they've been planted and the pond's in place and it's filling with water and uh, everything, you know, it's growing up obviously in the area, all the grass is growing and hopefully the wildflowers that we've planted will come up as well. We've seen a, a definite improvement from the point of view of the land, on the, certainly the big field, which is backs onto the large arable field behind us. Um, we've seen a reduction in the uh, amount of damp laying in there. And I think in the wood, where there was a gully which had really been left over a number of years and filled with wood and rubbish, uh, that's been cleaned out. Dams have been put in there, utilising the local wood. And that's definitely slowed water down coming from the larger arable field behind us. Um, we feel that what we've actually done has improved things so far. We've seen more dragonflies and we've seen butterflies and dippers in the stream. And, uh, you know, we're, we're very happy with what's been done so far. We'd like to leave it eventually in a better state than it was in when we arrived. In conjunction with what Karina's been uh, involved with and what we've been involved with, overall, I think uh, things are, are looking better than when we first arrived.